welcome to analytics with nax in this video i'm going to talk about change tracking other features like inserts and deletes how to handle it in my previous video i have explained about what this change tracking is and i have explained uh, when you do the updates how it can be tracked i get a very good response in this video and a um, lot of people asked um, how to use other features like inserts and deletes that's what i'm going to talk about in this video let's try to jump into it before uh, proceeding as this is the sql advanced uh, series if you want to practice along with me install these uh, softwares i have provided the link for the video how to install those softwares so we already seen what is the main purpose of change tracking if you are not aware of it what it is and when to use it you can uh, use this uh, link popped up here so that you will understand um, uh, uh, what is the main purpose for those who are watching it for very first time basically this change tracking is a lightweight solution for your incremental load meaning you have a data in one database you need to load the data into another database or move the data into another database incrementally right for that you can use this change tracking procedures so this change tracking procedure is lightweight meaning like it uses only the primary key and uh, it provides you what row has changed how it is changed whether it's insert update or delete using this information you can manage in your target application this is the whole purpose of change tracking so prerequisite uh, enable you the change tracking at the database level and the table should have a primary key let's say your application having a database but some tables doesn't have a primary key then you cannot use the change tracking ensure your application uses the primary key and enable the change tracking at each table level so these are the simple prerequisite uh, to uh, make use of change tracking so as you already have explained to those who watched uh, earlier and those who are watching for the very first time meaning like this change tracking is your uh, what is the purpose here you have a table and it is in server one and this is in this database you want to move it to another server which is in another database and this table to be moved basically what happens assume you have a thousand rows here the thousand rows will be moved initially and next day let's say 100 records uh, got modified that includes inserts and updates right those 100 results records will be preserved in your change tracking function not even a physical table uh, that will be like uh, internal system functions right using that you can able to query this information uh, if basically the logs right then you can use this uh, temporary table or uh, the fun using certain queries that i will show it quickly using this you can incrementally load that is the whole purpose in our previous video i have seen updates so this video specifically for inserts and deletes this channel contains a free content that covers msbi power bi fundamentals of azure please share this channel with your friends and colleagues so that this contents will be well utilized with this note let's begin our today's topic so let's move back um, as i said before uh, i have enabled so that's why the change tracking current version is your 2 so basically we, this function uh, help us to identify what is our current change tracking version now in order to get the change tracking for a particular table um, i mean what are the changes happen in that table uh, you can use this function right now i don't have any changes let's try to, now let's try to update uh, this record now there you go i have updated now if you go and check this table this is the syntax change table changes human resource dot employee right when you use this one now it says the sys change version is 3 and which record i updated if you see i updated this 66 right this 66 uh, primary key will be stored here uh, now let's go and do certain operations in the product also um, i'm trying to do certain changes in the product table now again one more row updated 
not to query this right let's go and use instead of this table I need to use the production dot product table so each table has its own uh, run right <coughs> if you see from zero uh, I mean what record has been modified now this is again an update now I get the 713 basically each table when I run together here this particular table uh, has 66 record that row number is modified and in product this primary key is modified that is what it says so this is the function used to get which primary key is modified in the respective table now let us update one more record in the uh, employee here and again another updating another record here so uh, let's try to check the uh, these tables right now what happened here uh, you can see we have updated employee one record and we have updated the uh, another record here if you see in the product table 497 I updated which is change track version 6 so basically each update or each uh, operation undergoes certain sys change version okay it doesn't matter uh, what changes happening so it will keep on updating so that is the future we have seen so if you see here any changes in the tables it will keep on incrementing now this information we already saw now let's try to uh, do another changes here let's try to do the insert into the product there you go now I inserted uh, into the product now once again let me query these two tables now there is no changes in this employee because it doesn't have any impact but if you see here uh, there is a sys change operation I meaning like when I have a insert right and I also got the new primary key here that is thousand in this particular product table so this is how you, this particular sys change version there is no physical table showed your actual table right all this table remains as such but whatever operations you do which is stored in some logs you are querying that logs to uh, get the uh, primary key what has been modified with the operation use this information so this information is nothing but this table use this information on your next incremental load in your any other application this is the um, now when I select this uh, product right you can see always I'm mentioning zero here what is the zero from this version whatever has modified you can provide now let's see I will put five here meaning like after 5 whatever has modified provide me so now I will get only 6 and 7 so this is the concept you need to understand about this function basically the change table changes takes the input parameter the table and from which version you need to display here this will be passed from this particular database so initially thousand rows are loaded okay that is first time load next hundred rows are stored here insert as well as update insert is 70 records or um, updates is 30 records assume like that now uh, these hundred records should be loaded over here right so uh, at that time while we loading this uh, database assume you have a version right seven um, seven thousand as a version change version sys change version this seven thousand sys version should be stored somewhere here at the very first time seven thousand next time while you extract uh, this hundred records this seven thousand should be passed here right to extract whatever has been changed so this seven thousand is nothing but your query over here
version should be 7000 then whatever has been changed so that should be preserved so next thing what we need to see here is how you can use this uh, change table function to incrementally load now you can see here uh, let's see I am putting 5 here use this base table and write out a join of change tables and use this particular product dot product ID this should be passed then what you will get is you will get the incremental table content whatever we have seen before and also along with that those two records from the product table whatever has been modified and as well as newly inserted these two records you will use it in your new application or database to update it so this is what the change tracking is all about now let's finally we will see how the delete operation will look like now I'm deleting here let's try to see how the delete table looks like as you can see uh, the beauty of it it will not preserve all the history earlier I you saw like it was you and I right so uh, meaning like it cannot preserve all the histories here only the latest operation will be preserved that is the one of the uh, challenges or um, limitations in the change tracking meaning like initially it was updated after that the, I mean initially it's what inserted after that it was updated and deleted out of these three options only the latest option will be I mean change operation will be preserved so now when you extract this information like deleted it this particular record is being deleted that is what it will be uh, fetched into your new application meaning like if you are uh, if your ETL process runs um, after insert right before delete then you will get the inserted record but if your ETL process runs after your deleted statement you will not uh, include this part of your ETL process I mean there won't be any records in your target as well because since your it is got deleted you no need to load it into your target tables so I hope you are clear about this ch change tracking and there are certain limitations over there use it very wisely and uh, effectively so that your ETL process is very minimal if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset